Have you ever felt like the weight of the world is crushing down on you? Like every step forward is a struggle against an overwhelming tide of stress and worry? Well, today, I want you to know that you're not alone in that feeling. But more importantly, I want you to know that there's hope. There's a light at the end of the tunnel, and it's not just any light. It's the promise of God's presence in your darkest moments. So, if you're tired of stressing and ready for a glimmer of hope, stick around, because we're about to dive deep into the assurance that God will come through for you, and your problems will soon be over. Let's delve deeper into the timeless wisdom found in the scriptures regarding God's faithfulness in times of trouble. In Isaiah 41 verse 10, God speaks directly to our hearts, saying, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. These words offer us a powerful assurance that we are not alone in our struggles. God's presence is our greatest source of strength and comfort. Turning to Matthew 11 verse 28, we find Jesus extending a loving invitation to all who are burdened and weary, come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. This invitation echoes throughout the ages, reminding us that Jesus is the source of true rest for our souls. In him, we find peace that transcends our circumstances. The Psalms also offer us a treasure trove of encouragement and hope. Psalm 46 verse 1 declares, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. When the storms of life rage around us, we can take refuge in the loving arms of our Heavenly Father, knowing that He is our ever-present help in times of need. And in Romans 8 verse 28, we're reminded that God works all things together for the good of those who love Him. Even in the midst of our trials and tribulations, God is at work, weaving together a beautiful tapestry of His grace and mercy. These passages serve as a firm foundation for our faith, reminding us that God is faithful to His promises. As we meditate on His Word and anchor our hearts in His truth, we find the strength and courage to face whatever challenges come our way. So, let us hold fast to the promises of God, knowing that He who promised is faithful. The reality of stress. Life can feel like a never-ending roller coaster sometimes, can it? It's like you're trying to juggle a dozen balls at once, and just when you think you've got it under control, another one gets thrown into the mix. That's the reality of stress. It's that feeling of being pulled in a million different directions with no end in sight. Think about those moments when you're lying awake at night, tossing and turning, as your mind races through all the things you need to do tomorrow. Or maybe it's that tight knot in your stomach when you open up your mailbox and see a stack of bills waiting for you. Stress comes in many shapes and sizes, but its impact on our lives is undeniable. It's important to acknowledge that stress is a natural part of being human. We all experience it at one point or another, and it's okay to admit when we're feeling overwhelmed. But here's the thing, dwelling on that stress only makes it worse. It's like feeding a monster. The more attention you give it, the bigger and scarier it becomes. So, what's the solution? How do we deal with the reality of stress without letting it consume us? The answer lies in shifting our focus from our problems to the one who holds the solution. It's about taking a step back and reminding ourselves that we serve a God who is bigger than any problem we could ever face. In those moments when stress threatens to overwhelm us, we have a choice to make. We can either succumb to fear and anxiety, or we can choose faith and trust that God is in control. It's not always easy, but it's a choice we must make every single day. And the beautiful thing is, when we choose faith over fear, we open ourselves up to a peace that surpasses all understanding. So, the next time you feel stress creeping in, remember this, you are not alone. God sees you, He hears you, and He is with you every step of the way. Trust in His promises, lean on His strength, and watch as your problems begin to fade away in the light of His love.
God's Promise of Presence Life can feel like a lonely journey, especially when we're facing challenges that seem insurmountable. But the beautiful truth is that we are never alone. God, in His infinite love and compassion, promises to walk alongside us every step of the way. Think about it like this. Imagine you're walking through a dark forest, feeling scared and uncertain about what lies ahead. Suddenly, a warm light appears beside you, guiding your path and filling you with a sense of peace. That light is God's presence, shining brightly, even in the darkest moments of our lives. In the Bible, God reassures us countless times of His unwavering commitment to be with us. He says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Hebrews 13 verse 5 This means that no matter how difficult the road may seem, God is right there beside you, offering His strength and comfort. But God's presence isn't just a passive presence, it's active and powerful. It's like having a best friend, who listens to your every concern and holds your hand through the toughest times. When we feel overwhelmed by life's challenges, we can turn to God in prayer and find solace in His presence. And here's the amazing part, God's presence isn't limited by time or space. It's not just a comforting thought, it's a reality that we can experience every single day. Whether we're facing financial struggles, health issues, or relationship difficulties, God is there, ready to offer His peace that surpasses all understanding. So, my friends, take heart and find strength in the promise of God's presence. Let it be a source of hope and encouragement as you navigate the ups and downs of life. Remember, you are never alone, for the Creator of the universe walks beside you, guiding you with His love and grace. The Power of Trust Trusting in God's faithfulness is like anchoring your soul in a harbor of peace amidst life's raging storms. It's easy to let fear take hold when we face uncertainty, but trust allows us to stand firm, rooted in the assurance of God's promises. Imagine yourself standing on the edge of a cliff with nothing but vast unknown below. That's what life can feel like sometimes, daunting, uncertain, and overwhelming. But when we choose to trust God, it's like taking a step forward, knowing that He will catch us if we fall. Trust isn't blind optimism, it's a confident expectation based on the character of God. He is faithful, unchanging, and always true to His word. When we trust in Him, we're saying, God, I believe that you are who you say you are, and that you will do what you say you will do. Think about a small child jumping into their father's arms without hesitation, fully confident that he will catch them. That's the kind of trust God invites us to have in Him. He is our loving Heavenly Father, ready to catch us when we leap into His arms of grace. Trusting in God doesn't mean we won't face challenges or hardships. It means we face them with a confidence that God is in control, working all things together for our good. Even when the road ahead seems uncertain, we can trust that God sees the bigger picture and knows what's best for us. When we trust in God, we're releasing the need to control every outcome and instead surrendering to His perfect plan. It's a beautiful exchange. Our worries for His peace, our doubts for His assurance, our fear for His faithfulness. So, my friends, in the midst of life's trials, choose to trust God. Let your faith be bigger than your fears and watch as He transforms your anxieties into opportunities for His glory. Remember, the power of trust isn't just a belief. It's a lifeline that anchors our souls in the hope of God's unfailing love. Faith in Action Faith isn't just a passive belief. It's an active choice to trust God, even when circumstances seem dire. It's like stepping onto a bridge, even when you can't see the other side, trusting that it will carry you safely across. Think about David facing Goliath. He didn't cower in fear. Instead, he stepped forward in faith, armed with nothing but a sling and five smooth stones. In that moment, David didn't rely on his own strength or abilities. Instead, 
he placed his trust in the Almighty God, who had delivered him from the paw of the lion and the bear. Now, you might not be facing a literal giant like David, but each of us has our own Goliaths, challenges that seem insurmountable. Maybe it's a financial crisis, a health scare, or a broken relationship. In those moments, we're called to follow David's example and step out in faith. But faith isn't blind optimism. It's rooted in the assurance of God's character and promises. It's knowing that He is faithful to His word and that He will never leave us nor forsake us. So, when you're faced with a seemingly impossible situation, don't let fear paralyze you. Instead, choose to trust in the One who holds the universe in His hands. Take a moment to reflect on your own life. Where do you need to exercise faith today? Is it in your finances, your health, your relationships? Whatever it may be, remember that faith is not about the size of the problem, but the size of the God we serve. So, step out in faith, knowing that God goes before you, fighting your battles on your behalf. As you do, you'll experience His faithfulness in ways you never thought possible. And remember, with God, all things are possible to those who believe. The Blessing of Surrender Surrendering control is like handing over the steering wheel of your life to the most skilled driver, the Almighty God Himself. It's letting go of the need to micromanage every aspect and trusting that God has a perfect plan, even when we can't see it. Think of it this way. Have you ever tried to swim against a strong current? It's exhausting, isn't it? But when you surrender to the flow of the water, suddenly, you're carried along effortlessly. In the same way, surrendering to God's will doesn't mean giving up. It means letting Him lead you through the currents of life. Imagine a ship caught in a storm. The crew frantically tries to control the vessel, but their efforts are futile against the raging waves. It's only when they surrender to the guidance of the experienced captain that they find safety. Likewise, when we surrender to God, He navigates us through life's storms with wisdom and grace. Surrender is not a sign of weakness, but of strength. It takes courage to release our grip on the illusion of control and place our trust in God's sovereignty. When we surrender, we exchange our burdens for God's peace, our anxieties for His assurance. Consider the story of Abraham and Isaac. Abraham surrendered his most precious possession, his beloved son, into God's hands, trusting that God's plan was greater than his own understanding. And in that surrender, he experienced the miracle of God's provision and faithfulness. So, dear friends, I encourage you today to embrace the blessing of surrender. Lay down your worries, fears, and doubts at the feet of Jesus. Trust that He is working all things together for your good, even in the midst of uncertainty. Surrender is not giving up. It's letting God take the lead and write a beautiful story of redemption and restoration in your life. As you release control and surrender to God's will, you'll discover a newfound freedom, peace, and joy that can only come from walking in alignment with His plans. So, let go and let God, knowing that He is faithful to fulfill His promises and lead you into a future filled with hope. Embracing Hope In every trial, there is an opportunity for God to reveal His faithfulness in ways we could never imagine. When the storms of life rage around us, it's easy to lose sight of the light at the end of the tunnel. But hope, dear friends, is like a beacon guiding us through the darkest nights. Think about the story of Joseph in the Bible. He endured betrayal, slavery, and imprisonment. Yet through it all, he clung to hope in God's promises. And in the end, God lifted him out of the pit and exalted him to a position of honor and authority. Likewise, your current situation may seem bleak, but God specializes in turning the impossible into the miraculous. He is the God of the turnaround the master of redemption. So, don't give up hope. Your breakthrough may be just around the corner. Hope isn't wishful thinking, it's confident expectation in God's goodness. It's the assurance that He who promised is faithful, 
and He will bring His plans to fruition in your life. So, dare to dream again. Dare to believe that better days are ahead. And as you wait in hopeful anticipation, remember the words of Isaiah 40 verse 31. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. So, lift up your eyes, dear friends. Fix your gaze upon the one who holds the future in his hands. Embrace hope as an anchor for your soul, knowing that God is working behind the scenes, orchestrating a beautiful symphony out of the chaos of your life. Today, I urge you to lay your burdens at the feet of Jesus. Take a moment to surrender your worries in prayer, trusting that God will come through for you. Choose faith over fear, knowing that your problems will soon be over, for the one who holds the universe in his hands is fighting for you. As we conclude, remember these words, stop stressing, God will come through, and your problems will soon be over. May the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Before we close, let's take a moment to lift our hearts in prayer, seeking God's presence and guidance as we apply His Word to our lives. Heavenly Father, in the midst of life's trials and tribulations, we come before you with humble hearts, seeking your comfort and strength. We thank you for the assurance that you are always with us, never leaving nor forsaking us. As we reflect on the message we've heard today, we are reminded of your unwavering faithfulness and love. Lord, we confess that too often, we allow stress and worry to consume us, forgetting to trust in your promises. Forgive us for doubting your power and provision. Today, we choose to surrender our burdens to you, knowing that you are more than able to carry them for us. We pray for each person listening, that you would wrap them in your peace and fill them with your presence. Give them the courage to release their anxieties and fears into your loving hands. Strengthen their faith, Lord, and remind them that nothing is too difficult for you. As we face uncertain times, help us to fix our eyes on you, the author and perfecter of our faith. Grant us the wisdom to discern your will and the patience to wait for your timing. May we find hope in the midst of despair and joy in the midst of sorrow, knowing that you are working all things together for our good. Lord, we thank you for your faithfulness, for your promises that never fail. We trust that you will come through for us, just as you have promised. May our lives be a testament to your goodness and grace. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. As we've journeyed through this message of hope and trust in God's faithfulness, I invite you to take action today. Like this video, to spread the message of peace and encouragement to others who may be facing their own storms. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on future messages that will uplift and inspire your faith journey. And finally, share this video with your friends and loved ones so they too can find comfort in knowing that God will come through for them and their problems will soon be over. Together, let's spread hope and faith to every corner of the world.